Well, you guys, today we're going to take a look at how to animate your desktop background wallpaper on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, if we look inside the personalization of Windows 11 here, you can see we can change the picture, solid color, or slideshow. We can't add a video. But what if I told you we can do all of this with a simple program called Lively Wallpaper? It's got great features, as you can see here. It's fully customizable. You can use dynamic and interactive uh, web pages, 3D applications, and audio visualizers as wallpapers. You can use multiple screens. You can also uh, download plenty of different uh, wallpapers from their website, which I'll show you in this video. So go to the download section here. You've got two options. You can either download the installer or you can download it from the uh, Microsoft Store here. Here we have our system requirements that is needed to run this application. You can download the installer or get it from the Microsoft Store. So I'm going to get it from the Microsoft Store because this way we will receive updates as and when they release them. So hit the get button and it will redirect us to the Microsoft Store where we can download the application. This way we receive updates when they release them. Now if you've blocked the Microsoft Store, you will need to use the installer to download it and get it installed on your computer. So let's go ahead and get this and click on the get button to download and install it. On startup of the program, you'll see, do you wanna start this with Windows? I'm gonna say yes. And now we can choose a taskbar theme here. So this basically gives us the option to make our taskbar transparent or clear. You can click on this and it will make your taskbar disappear here. Or you can have it as a blur if you want to. And again, we can change this to some other options which are available in the taskbar theme. You don't have to enable this feature. You can leave it off if you wish. Whatever really floats your boat, really. So I'm just going to leave this as off and move on to the next section. So let's go next. And that is now complete. So very simple install. Gives us full control. And you can see we do have some interactive desktop wallpapers here, which will basically move when we move our cursor. Or we can have something simplistic like this rain dropping down on the screen here. This does allow us to change the background as well. If you want to customize it, you can right click on the one you've chosen and click customize. This will give you full customization of the intensity and also the speed, the brightness. You can zoom in and out. You can have the overlay color changed and you can even use a different background image on this if you wish. You can also use the blur quality down the bottom here so it's got plenty of customization on all of these. If you want to change the background, you just use the drop down box here and change the background. And this will basically change the background and leave the rain coming down on the screen. Very cool feature. And you've got plenty of other ones to choose from. You can go into the settings pane here and use the settings to customize it to your needs. In the general section, you can start it with Windows and you've got some other features and settings you can mess around with here. You've got your language that so is in plenty of different languages here to choose from. We've got user interface, tile size, and also wallpaper directory. You can change the wallpaper directory. You can change the theme on here to a darker theme or light theme, depending on what you want. So pretty nice uh, added features on the performance section. You can change the performances here of the application itself. As you can see, plenty of options available here as well. And again, Going over to the wallpaper section, you can mess around with this. Audio is here as well, system, and you can go in here and change your taskbar here and everything else. So if you want to get yourself some stock video footage or clips, you can head over to Pixel Bay. They've got plenty to choose from over here, and you can use these as your backgrounds if you wish as well. I'll show you how it works. There's plenty of them on here to choose from, whether it will be some sort of uh, scenic view or whether it be some sort of time lapse or something like that. You can use any of these videos. You can see they're free for commercial use as well. You can choose the size here and download these and no attribution is required, although it is preferred to support the uh, person that created the content. And you can see pretty cool videos here. All you need to do is go into the settings here to add a wallpaper, hit the browse button and browse to the video that you've chosen and click open. And it will then change this and give you the option to make some changes to the title, description, author, website. And then you can basically make a load of changes here and click OK. Once you've done this, you will then see it populate on your desktop. And we'll have a look at this right now. So let me just click OK here. Now, some of these are going to be pretty intensive to run, I should imagine, depending on 
uh, what type of file it is. This is a 4K file, and as you can see here, it's running on this little Wi-Fi system here. It will be on a constant loop. I'll show you what the task manager is seeing here so you can see it. But unfortunately, uh, I was recording the screen at the same time, which means it's going to take a bit more resources. You can enter a URL here from a YouTube video, or you can add more wallpapers and it will then redirect you to the lively wallpaper Reddit post where you can find loads of other people's creations here and use them in your application. So it looks pretty cool on your desktop. So there's some creative people out there that have created quite a few of these. So check them out. I'll leave the links in the video description. Also, if you find one that you like, like this rain version two, you can right click on it and go to the about page and it will take you to the source page of the creator on GitHub here, as you can see. And this is the person that's created this rainfall one, which I think is absolutely awesome. It will give you all the information about how they created it and what they used. For instance, features here at 30 frames per second, uh, look to reduce the uh, GPU usage and it's 13 customizations and stuff like that on here. Gives you the credit of the people that created it as well. So it's very useful to have that and you can check out some of their other work if they release them. Now going down to the bottom right hand side here, you can right click on it and basically pause the wallpaper if you wish, or you can turn it off and exit it depending on what you want to do. And if you exit it, it will just basically take you back to the default wallpaper that you had at the very beginning before you installed it. So a pretty cool feature. Now I can see this program growing over time is going to get really, really popular. And again, if you like changing your wallpaper and you just don't want a static wallpaper like you see on the screen right now, and you want to add some sort of uh, animation to it, then try out Lively Wallpapers, a pretty good option for uh, live wallpapers on the desktop. Anyway, that's about it for me. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.